Welcome. Today we are going to talk about Suzaku Kudarugi, the son of the late Prime Minister of Japan, the man who joined the Britannia military to make change from within, a man loved by some and hated by most. This video is going to be 10 interesting facts and theories about Suzaku that you may not know. Before starting with these facts slash theories, in honor of CBR, here are obvious slash condescending facts you need to know for some reason. If you have already watched Code Geass, which is probably why you're watching this video, then there will be no need to state them, but the writers of such articles are normies who just want to milk the anime for views because it's popular. So in quick succession, here we go. Suzaku has green eyes and brown hair. Suzaku killed his father because he's crazy. Suzaku betrayed Lelouch after everything he did for him. Suzaku fights for Britannia. Suzaku had a romantic relationship with Euphemia. Suzaku hides in the landslide, which by the way was too OP in the series. Suzaku always had it easy going with no issues whatsoever. Suzaku betrayed Lelouch after everything he did for him. Suzaku purposely killed the Japanese with the flare and it was completely his fault. Suzaku killed his best friend Lelouch, which wasn't planned or anything, it was just pure, unjustified revenge. Suzaku eats food and occasionally uses the bathroom. Suzaku is Japanese and was born in Japan. Suzaku has been on top of both Shirley and Colin physically, at least once in the series. Okay, I'm not sure why I went that direction, and I don't think everyone knew that. Plus, that's probably something that Suzaku should never tell Lelouch about. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get serious now and go through the actual facts and theories. Number 10. Suzaku became the Knight of One. During the festivals in R2 turn 5, Suzaku explains to Lelouch that he tends to become the Knight of One. By doing this, he can take any area under his control. Suzaku, to no one's surprise, was going to take Area 11. Fast forward to the start of the Zero Requiem, in which Lelouch gives Suzaku the title of the Knight of Zero, which Suzaku states is a title higher than the Knight of One. During the Knights of the Round Rebellion in turn 22, Suzaku killed Bismarck, which technically makes him the Knight of One, but it no longer mattered since he was the Knight of Zero. Number 9. The Truth Behind Suzaku and Cecile's Relationship Before watching picture drama turn 22.05, Suzaku and Cecile's relationship resembled an older sister relationship to a younger brother in which the older sister acts in place of a vacant mother. Cecile takes care of Suzaku in a similar way that Misato takes care of Shinji from Neon Genesis Evangelion, which I'm sure was not an accident when they created Code Geass. Anyways, in turn 22.05, when questioned by C2, Cecile confesses to falling in love with Suzaku. The only other possible hints came at stage 14, where Lloyd jokes about Cecile is treating Suzaku more than just a colleague. Outside of that though, the series never implied that either person had any feelings for the other. I do find it funny that in the anniversary picture drama, Suzaku imagines his future with Cecile by his side. Oh, and apparently he wears glasses. I never knew that. And hey look, another bonus fact. So did Cecile love Suzaku? Apparently yes. Did he love her? Probably not, but hey, who knows. Number 8. Suzaku has faced the most Geass users in all of Code Geass. Poor Suzaku, despite there being only a few Geass users in the entire series, they all seem to use their powers on him at some point. He was Geass by the Lush, Bismarck, Rollo, Mao, technically Shamna, and while he never used his Geass on him, you could count Shin Hyuga as a Geass user that technically went against Suzaku. If you don't count Shin Hyuga or Shamna, then Suzaku is tied with Shirley who also faced four Geass users. They were Lelouch, Rollo, Mao, and Charles. Number 7. Suzaku's athletic ability is supernatural. Most characters in Code Geass obey the laws of physics as it's a grounded show with the exception of course the Nightmare of Frames and Geass Power. With that in mind, only two characters demonstrate this insane ability to defy the laws of physics, and that would be Saiko and Suzaku. Suzaku has performed incredible feats of strength, including dodging bullets from all sorts of weapons, running up walls, jumping incredible heights, holding both Lelouch and Shirley with one arm, and catching Bradley's dagger that was thrown at him with the intent to kill him. Not to mention the many times he performs the infamous Spinzaku kick. I always enjoyed 
when Lush and Suzaku joke about his insane athletic ability. Number 6. Let's explain why Suzaku joined Lelouch. This is more of an FAQ slash theory item, but I wanted to mention it here. If Suzaku wanted to kill Lelouch for killing Yuffie, it makes no sense why he'd want to join forces with him. At least, that's what some people believe. The answer is revealed in turn 22, when Lelouch tells Suzaku that the blood from the Zero Requiem will erase the memories of Prince's Massacre from people's minds. Also, Lelouch's plans mirror Yuffie's, in which he's going to make a world where people are going to smile and be happy again. Which means by helping Lelouch, he's making Yuffie's dreams come true. Another thing to consider is that Lelouch will die by the end of the Zero Requiem, fulfilling his responsibilities as Zero, which is something that Suzaku talks to Lelouch about in turn 17. It is also important to note that at the end of the Ragnarok connection, Suzaku and Lelouch both came to the same conclusion that humanity wanted a future, so working together made sense despite what happened. Although I do find it funny that Lelouch says, so what? When Suzaku reminds him that he killed Yuffie. Number 5. Suzaku is hated by many in the fan base. If you asked the average Kogias fan to list their three most hated characters, it would most likely be Suzaku, Nina, and Ogi, in no particular order. Since this is about Suzaku, let me explain why people can't stand him. To put it simply, Suzaku's ideology and morals have been joked to be like a roulette wheel. Some have gone as far to call him an idiot for thinking he could make change from within. It doesn't help that he opposes Lelouch throughout the series and even brings him to Charles at the end of R1. I can definitely see these points, but I still like his character and at least Suzaku had a good redemption arc in R2, which I think most fans at that point rally behind him, and I can't say the same thing about other characters. Number 4. Every single nightmare frame that Suzaku pilots. For someone that had no initial experience before piloting the Lancelot in Stage 2, Suzaku adjusted quite well given his natural physical abilities, and has used that talent to pilot other nightmare frames. Let's go over those nightmare frames. During the original series, Suzaku only pilots the Lancelot and variants based on it, including the Lancelot with a float unit, the Lancelot Conquista, and the Lancelot Albion. In non-combat situations, he also piloted a Ganymede during the school festival. In the manga Lelouch of the Rebellion RE, while the Albion was in production, Suzaku piloted the Vincent. In the Lelouch of the Resurrection, he pilots the Maharoba Type 1, the Lancelot Zero, and the Lancelot Sin with and without a frame coat. And while I'm not the biggest fan of the Lancelot, anytime Suzaku joined the battle within the Lancelot, as JR would say, business was about to pick up. Number 3. Suzaku was one of the first known 11s to attend Ashford Academy. I say known because Colin was also an 11 and also attended Ashford Academy, but no one knew that she was also half Japanese in addition to being half Britannian. Now, this is just a theory, but it comes from something that happens when Suzaku first joined Ashford. Everyone freaks out, which I interpret as a fact that this might be the first time that Eleven actually joined the school, because otherwise, why would they make such a big deal about it? I wonder if Suzaku was only allowed to attend due to Yuffie's influence, or because he's an honorary Britannian, or both. This exclusivity might be the reason why Millie helped Colin cover up her secrets, but then again, it was Millie's grandfather that passed on the documents. Maybe Millie convinced him to do that? Um, I don't know, we're getting off track here. The point is, Suzaku was probably the first known 11 to attend Ashford Academy. Number 2. Suzaku owns Tamaki. A lot. As you guys know, I can't stand Tamaki, hence why this fact is so high on the list. In Stage 5, Tamaki attacks Suzaku at the Shinjuku Ghetto after calling him a traitor. During the fight, and that's being very generous, Suzaku flips Tamaki over in a humiliating fashion. This is the first time that Suzaku humiliates Tamaki in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I believe it's the only time as well. He defeated him three times in Nightmare Frame combat, and what's interesting is that in the last battle, Suzaku had abandoned disabled Nightmare Frames, preferring to just kill pilots if he can, but even then, he doesn't kill Tamaki during the battle. I'm not sure why this running gag exists, but I hate Tamaki, so this puts a smile on my face. And number one, Suzaku has been under Gias longer than just about everyone. In stage 18, while the Gwain was about to fire on them, 
from the Avalon, Lelouch orders Suzaku to live, and since that day, that command still forces him to live in dangerous situations. Even in Resurrection, we can observe the command still in effect. Now I said basically longer than just about everyone, because Lelouch used Gias on a student to mark crosses on a wall every day. She still, by the way, tries to do this despite leaving Ashford after the Black Rebellion in R1. In my head canon, Jeremiah finds this girl and uses the Counselor on her so she can live a normal life. But as it stands, Suzaku has the second longest time under a Gias command. Since you guys lasted this long, here is a bonus fact. Despite having a weird relationship with cats where they don't like him, Suzaku tends to have Arthur with him at all times, even while the Nio 7. He even brought him back to Ashford. The two have a very interesting relationship. And there you have it, 10 facts slash theories on Suzaku. Let me know what other facts I missed and your thoughts on Suzaku and the list as a whole. Subscribe for more content, join the Discord server, check out my anime streaming guide, and as I always like to say, the world is not a dark place, and tomorrow will be a good day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.